A Mobile High School student and her biology teacher discovered a rare well fossil. It was unearthed in Monroe County, which used to be underwater millions of years ago. Today, NBC 15's Andrew Ramey got a glimpse of the 34 million year old fossil at the Alabama School of Math and Science. And when we first exposed this tooth, that was really what gave away what we'd found. Would Alabama School of Math and Science biology professor Dr. Andrew Gentry and high school junior Lindsay Stallworth found in a hillside this summer was a whale skull roughly four to five feet long. To find one that this, this complete is actually very rare. We're very excited by the fact that we got the majority of the skull out and that there is more of the skeleton left to uncover, which could give us the complete animal. I was really overwhelmed, but at the same time, I was just full with excitement of, I actually get to be here for this project. I get to see this happen in front of my eyes and be a part of it. Because mm -hmm. as a high schooler, I didn't think I'd get to do any of this stuff. They discovered it on Stallworth's family property in Monroe County, land she's searched for fossils since she was a small child. I think I found my first shark's tooth when I was like seven years old. This shark tooth she found this summer too, 50 feet from the whale skull. The shark probably would have been about the size of a yellow school bus. It swam in the ocean millions of years ago when most of Alabama was covered in shallow sea and why most fossils found in the state are marine creatures. Creature Stallworth and other students now study at the paleontology lab, and they'll get plenty more hands-on lessons as they continue to excavate and restore the whale fossil. We can compare it to the species that we know about to determine if this is a new species. This might be an entirely new species of whale. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. It will take years to fully excavate the fossil, which could be up to 15 to 20 feet long. Star Wars says this experience now has her considering majoring in paleontology.